In this business talk, Brian shares the one thing you need to know, which means you'll never ever not be able to find 10 to 20K for deals, for investment opportunities, or to buy assets at rock bottom prices, which always comes along in recessions. If you want to learn how to be liquid instantly with none of your own money, this episode will give you the money generating answers. Show me the money on Wednesday. If you have a deal right now and you don't know the best way to structure it, if you post a deal in the community group on Facebook called Property Crash Course, Ryan will help you unlock hidden profits and save you from locking yourself into a loss on those bad deals that every property sourcer wants you to buy. Hey podcasters, I hope everybody is good. Um, where are we today? Well, milestone day, lockdown day once again. Um, today is 14th, Monday the 14th of September. I want to talk to you about raising a lot of money, um, substantial amount of money for you to reinvest in high cash flow and property deals. But before then, today is a milestone day. It is the day um, that the lockdown has started again. Um, what I mean by that is all of you guys will know if you're in the UK, I know a lot of uh, my audience, listeners, subscribers are overseas, Canada, America, um, basically across the pond, um, international listeners. So for you guys who maybe um, you are, you're not watching Sky News, you're not up with the news in the UK, which is absolutely fine. You've got your own shit going on in your own countries. Um, we're around about 4,000 cases a day for the last, I don't know, two, three, four consecutive days. So we've got a new law that comes in today. It's a new lockdown in the UK where six people or more are not allowed to gather together outside. They're also not allowed to gather together inside. So yes, shit is getting real again. Um, our thoughts go out to everybody who's obviously, you know, been impacted by the coronavirus, family, you know, loved ones, you know, relatives maybe that they lost, etc., etc. That's very bad. Um, yeah, so our thoughts and prayers go out for you guys. Now, yep, shit is getting real again. Um, in some other episodes, I'm going to talk to you guys about what we've learned from what's already happened with the lockdown, how we managed to survive the lockdown, how we managed to capitalize on the lockdown, then how we managed to thrive during the lockdown, scale my company, companies, partners, companies, income, revenue, profit, and acquire a hotel and lots of deals. That's in another episode so I can get you guys prepared for when the next lockdown starts because it's already starting city by city, region by region, um, limiting the numbers, uh, putting curfews on in certain parts of the country, etc., etc. So anyway, that's another episode. Before then, I want to talk to you guys about raising some money, something that I've just done recently and I've done dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of times to raise money to reinvest in other properties, high cash flow and properties. Because right now, guys, if you haven't got cash, if you haven't got money, if, you haven't, if you're not liquid, you're going to miss out on the greatest transfer of wealth. So this is an episode where I'm going to give you guys um, some real tips, some real things we're doing right now. Okay, so I had a property, uh, this is all geared around property guys, um, I had a property which was rented to a group of tenants, okay? Now, those tenants uh, were due to move in, they were students, but decent students, I don't discriminate against any students, but I mean these are well behaved, uh, these are in the latter parts of their student career, you could say they're actually uh, studying law, there's two of them, they've come from overseas and they're just ideal students that you want. So what I managed to do with these students is I had a house which normally rents for around about uh, 1600 a month to about 2150 We have had before, that is only in the summer, short term, a couple of months at a time, etc, etc. So it really rents for about 15, 1600 um, all year round, two bed luxury um, apartment. So I found the group of students, advertise a property in a way that it attracts people that can only pay in advance, okay? Only pay in advance. This is a key, this is crucial. If you're already shortletting on booking.com or Airbnb and you're not generating 8,200 for your three beds, 6,200 for your two beds, or even 4,100 for your one beds each month, then oh my goodness, 
you're losing money every single month. Now, I created an ebook to show you exactly how we hit those numbers consistently in my business. And I want to give you a free copy so I can show you exactly how you can do the same. Just go to www.theyrentanyhome.com forward slash free book and tell me where to send your copy. Does that make sense? So only pay in advance is how this property was advertised. And they, it's just what I put in the advert, the description, the way it was worded, the language we use, the questions we ask on the phone, the market we target, and then it attracts a group of people that are in a position to pay up front. Sometimes we incentivize them to pay up front. Sometimes we just say it's only up front. Uh, sometimes we just put the ad out there for the hook and then we say, oh, you have bad credit. Oh, you don't have any credit. Oh, you're from overseas. Oh, you're students. Oh, you don't have guarantors. Those are a handful, half a dozen of things, which is tick box criteria, alarm bells ring. These are students that will pay in advance. Anyway, hope you got that. I'm not here to give you the, you know, the, the, the small minor details or steps, the bigger picture, exactly what you need to do to make money, to raise 10, 20 grand right now, to put into a deposit on a house, a deposit on a couple of flats, put into an investment, put into a business, put into a, I don't know, a fucking Lamborghini that somebody's selling half price that you can buy today for 20 grand down and then sell it for a lot more. I don't know, whatever you want to do, these are tips, tactics, strategies that we're using right now to help you guys make some fucking money by raising some money so none of you have any excuses of saying, but I haven't got any money and this deal needs money. How am I going to do it? I haven't got any money. This completely blows that limiting belief out of your mind that you have to have money to make money, okay? So, I'm just at a car wash. So what I'm gonna do is put you on pause for one second. Here he comes. Okay, so we're in the car wash now. <laughs> I have to mute you guys there. So this is to make sure you guys have no excuses so you have got money um, when deals come along right now in the pandemic, in the coronavirus, when people just want to get out of deals and get some money back, uh, get some security, etc., etc., And none of you guys, after listening to this, can say those words. But I haven't got the money. Okay, so advertise the property. We know the students, the people we're targeting, will have to pay up front. That's six months or 12 months, okay? Now, we rent the property and we pay £1,250 a month, okay? Now, this particular property, we've advertised it and we managed to achieve... Uh, just under 1600 I think it's 1595 so let's have a look at the numbers uh, quickly on this particular property so 1595 let's just call it 1600 um, times that by 12 months equals 19,200 pounds 19,200 that's what we get from this group of students up front one nine two hundred plus they pay one month's rent as a deposit so that's 1,600. So we collect 20,000 pounds and 800 pounds. 20,800, okay? We pay 1,250 times by 12. We pay 15,000. So we collect 20,800. So 20,800 minus 15,000 flat. Okay, so we have a net profit of £5,800 from this particular deal, okay? £5,800. Now, this isn't about making £5,800. Yes, you do make £5,800 net profit. However, what you're getting, what you're collecting is £20,800. So these tenants, these students are paying £20,000 and eight hundred. 20,800. So just imagine, you've already rented the property and you've paid the first month's rent. So that's minus um, 1,250 equals 19,550 19, and we've paid a one month's rent as a deposit. So that's minus 1,250 again. So we actually get to collect 18,300 pounds. Does this make sense to you guys? By renting a property from a landlord, advertising that particular property to students or any group that may have bad credit, low credit, poor credit, that have the means, that have the resources, that have the facilities, that have the student loans, that has family members, that maybe has 
um, money in the bank, maybe has savings, maybe have investments, etc., etc., that can pay 12 months in advance. This isn't difficult at all, guys. So that means we walk away instantly with £18,300. And remember, we've made 5800 but we're walking away with 18300 What could you do with £18,300 in your account in two weeks' time? Excuse me for the noise, guys. I'm in the car wash. Um, tell me, if there's any deals you've looked at, you've got 18300 in the bank now to do deals with. If there's any joint ventures you've looked at, you've got 18,300 pounds in your bank to do some deals with. Is there any properties, any deposits you need, any fire sales of investment properties that you could buy if you only had 5% deposit or even 10% deposit for just for 180,000 pound property? Now you have 18,300 pounds in your bank account. If any of you got any value from this episode, if any of you now understand how you can generate money like that, raise money from other people's properties, I would love to hear your thoughts on this episode. He's a number one Amazon bestseller. He's an NLP manipulator. He's a property course seller. He's a Lamborghini driving multi-millionaire property guru. Forget that same old boring I am me, me, me narcissistic podcast format because nobody gives a f***. This podcast is all about you. So I'm taking these few seconds to thank you for subscribing, to thank you for leaving your five-star reviews, and thank you for sharing this show with all of your friends. My team and I will keep bringing you these episodes and answering all of your burning questions in my Facebook community group called Property Crash Course. If you can just keep telling all of your friends about this show.